Gamester! Gamester! There's a great disturbance in the U-Force. Whoa! Who are you? I've seen Ghost Hunters, but this is crazy. My name is Old Gen Review Guy. And I've come for you, Gamester. Are you a ghost? No, I am a Jedi. Evil Darth Lord Vetrix and his empire of Cooper Troopers have set out to destroy every single video game system and game in the galaxy, and it's up to you, Gamester, to review and preserve the history and balance to the gaming industry. Help us, Gamester, your only hope. You must first travel to the Atari system and learn the ways of the U-Force and become a Jedi like your father. You will meet up with old Jedi Sega. He will be the one to teach you the ways of the U-Force. He's the one who taught me. Whoa, that's crazy. You're saying my father was a Jedi? And to think I thought he was only a Boy Scout. <laughs> Now, how do you expect for me to get to this Atari system, anyway? I will supply you with an Xbox wing. And a droid. Old Jen, not to worry, I have you covered here because I have my own droid. I actually don't leave home without it. It's an Xperia Play. It's a PlayStation phone. I play games on it. It's pretty cool. Uh, I don't leave home without it, so don't you worry at all. No, not that kind of droid, but this kind of droid. Here's RFE3. He will help you along the way. Whoa! Cool! What else do you need from me? You must review this system first! Whoa! Okay, I'll certainly try to do my best. The U-Force is strong with you, young PlayStation 1. Let's take a closer look at the Xbox 360 Star Wars Connect bundle. Here it is, guys. This is the Star Wars Xbox 360 Connect bundle. This is the most expensive Xbox 360 bundle that has been made so far, costing US dollars, 450 US dollars. So it is not cheap, but as you can see in the bottom right corner, what you get with it is you get a white connect sensor bar, which is unusual because most of those are black. You also get RTD2 style Xbox system. You also get a, a, a C3PO controller, and of course a Star Wars Connect game. I'm really excited to open this up. This came out April 3rd, 2012. I'm kind of surprised. This game actually was delayed in the process initially. I know the reviews weren't very good for it. So they delayed the process a little bit for the game. I'm surprised they just didn't wait another month because on May 4th is Star Wars Day. May, May, May 4th, as in May the 4th be with you. And I'm surprised they didn't wait to release it on that day. I think that would have made, made more sense marketing-wise. And it was only a month away, and that's a Friday. I think that would have been a good day to release it. But as most of us know, games usually come out on a Tuesday, unless you're Nintendo, and, and sometimes it's on a Sunday. But here's a front. you got C-3PO, you got R2-D2, um, and I really like the design. I'll be very careful with this when I open it up. And there's another side. You can see they're kind of posing there next to the, the Xbox 360. Another cool thing about this bundle is it comes with a 320 gig hard drive, or in Spanish, Disco Duro. All right, so it's a disc hard disc, disc hard in Spanish. <laughs> but basically what, what uh, that's cool because it's the largest hard drive that they have for the 360. I believe the Gears of War 3 limited edition bundle also came with a 320 gig hard drive, but that was $400, not $450. On the back, it kind of shows more of what comes with it. You got Tatooine in the background, Lars, you know, Homestead, basically. And let's see on the top. So you got the Star Wars logo, HDMI, DVD, Dolby Digital, Windows Media Center, 
all that good stuff. And then the and bottom. The bottom. Get very careful with this when we move it. Nothing really too exciting, just all the, the copyright stuff like that. So let's open this up and see what's inside. Looks like it comes with, what is this? Something from LucasArts. It's a quick setup guide. It's packed very nicely. Got this black styrofoam here for packaging. But that's the system itself. Star Wars Connect sealed. Also comes with Connect Adventures, also sealed. It's interesting, it does not mention that in the box that this is included, but that's a nice bonus. Figure you're paying $450, you might as well get that too, right? It's a lot of money. Don't miss out on other big savings. You can get the subscribe to the Xbox 360 subscription magazine, 81% off. 24 issues for uh, $44.95. Basically, how to set up your avatar, Xbox Live, all that good stuff. It's very nicely packaged. Uh, I'm really excited to open this up. There it is, that looks really, really cool. You can see the different sides. Actually lights up too, and every time you open the tray, and I'll show this in a second, actually makes RTD2, makes a sound, which is really neat. Here's the side, a Star Wars logo in the back. Really cool, this is all painted on, but it looks really neat because the way it's painted on it looks like it's almost three dimensional. Very, very cool. You got the, the vents, the fans, all that good stuff. That's really awesome. Also get the power adapter, which is obviously very important to have. That's packaged in here. You got the cables. This is the cord to hook up to the power brick. Headphones, some cheap kind of headphones. Here's the controller. Wow. Comes with some batteries, two AA batteries. That's really shiny. C3PO, that's really cool. You can even see the wires and stuff. That's pretty awesome. Only available in this bundle. It's hard to know how many of these bundles they actually made. I, I really don't know the answer to that. Uh, but I know it, it is limited edition. As of making this video, they are available in stores. As far as how long, I really don't know. So that'll be. Kind of obviously, they're targeting towards more of a, a niche market. People who are diehard Star Wars fans like myself, who are diehard video gamers like myself. So I kind of fall into that that, uh, that genre or that niche, that group. And here is the Kinect sensor bar. As far as I know, the only white one they have also. So that's pretty cool. It doesn't say Star Wars or anything on it, but really neat. Now I'm going to take the system and plug it in and I'll show you the different sounds that it makes when you open and close the tray. The system is now plugged in. I'm going to power it on. Let's hear the RTD2 sound effect. Lights up. That's pretty cool. Here's the tray. And then look here carefully. It says, help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. It doesn't boot up any differently than a normal Xbox, but it's pretty cool. Okay, RF, are you ready? Now it's time to meet up with Jedi Master Sega.